Well, hello and uh, welcome. Hope you are all doing well. Um, my name is Rebecca and I'm part of our Manchester campus. Um, I hope everyone is having a good day so far uh, and enjoying the written devotions as well. Um, and this has been a uh, great few weeks of them with obviously different people picking out uh, their favourite verse or their um, kind of uh, most used verse, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's good to get a bit of variety in your life, I'm sure you will agree. Um, well anyway, like I said, my name is Rebecca and I'm going to be bringing another one of these verses to you uh, today for our daily devotion. Now, I'm sure as many of the other amazing people that have shared so far, um, it was definitely hard to pick a favourite scripture, um, as the entire Bible is drenched in God-breathed words that are glorious and relevant in our time. Um, so, I'm going to share a passage that has been a word that I have held on to for the past year. Um, Pastor Stuart shared in a preach earlier on this year that all the Bible is a word, it's all fantastic, but God will give you a word word, something that you will read and it will just jump out of the page. Um, and this has definitely been mine for the past year. So I'm going to read it to you and it is from the message version. And it is Matthew 6 uh, and I'm going to read from verses 30. Um, but the key scripture I'm going to pick up today is uh, verse 34. So here it goes. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never ever seen... Don't you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you and do his pe best for you? What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, not to be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know what, don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things. But you know God, both how he works and, um, and you know God, sorry, but you know both God and how he works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Verse 34. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. So for those of you, um, or for those that know me, um, I know they would agree with me that when I say I am a planner, I am organised, and a bit of a control freak. Um, so the past year has definitely been a challenging one. Not really knowing what each day was going to look like. Um, my job was within the events industry, where I was used to planning months in advance. Um, and with the pandemic, that was all just thrown up in the air. Um, and what I had relied on being able to plan and control what was coming up was removed um, and I definitely began to lose my way a bit. And this is when I had to, headed to the Bible and to grab hold of a word that I could grab hold of um, in the time that um, you know I felt like everything else was kind of moving away from me and, and I wasn't too sure what was going on. Um, and this is exactly when you know God stepped in and reminded me that I should not rely on the world, especially don't rely on myself, but rely on his unshakable word and his unshakable character. He reminded me that it's not my job to worry about what was gonna come tomorrow or the next day or even the next week, the next month, the next year, because God has already been there and he knew what was going to happen. In verse 34, it says, give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen. In that time of feeling lost and unsure about what was going on just day to day, um, I forgot to look at what God was doing right there and then in me, like the scriptures, like the scripture suggests. In that moment, he was teaching me to not rely on myself, a habit that I had you know, a bad habit that I had had for a number of years that, you know, when the going gets tough, I'd never necessarily, my reaction would be to go to God, it would be go, okay, what can I do right now to fix this situation? Or what can I do to um, make things better? Or what can I do just to try and survive? Rather than remembering that I have a God and a Father who is higher than all things, and to rely on Him 
in all things. It was in that moment and that that moment that right then and there in that day, God was trying was teaching me and because I was so lost in just what was going to happen tomorrow and how I could make this work, I kind of missed that teaching moment. And thankfully, there is a beautiful thing called hindsight where I could look back and be like, ah, okay, that's what God was doing. And that's what he was trying to teach me in that moment. And this is the verse that I then would just repeat to myself day in, day out to, to as a reminder, to solidify that, that I just had to give my attention to what God was doing right now, not think about what God was going to do tomorrow or what, you know, or even what I was meant to be trying to do tomorrow and the next week and all that sort of stuff. So I just encourage you, church, that in those moments where you find yourself worrying about tomorrow, just stop. Just stop and put pause on it and read this verse aloud so your ears can hear what your what your mouth is saying. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. And just acknowledge what God is doing right now in your life. Right now, in that moment, in that day, just that day alone. You know, it says in the Bible as well that God gives you the grace for, for each day. Not a week. He won't talk you with grace for a week. He gives you the grace for each and every single day. So just give your attention to what God is doing right now. And above all else, give thanks for whatever that may be. Church, I hope you have a fantastic day. um, And I hope you've uh, taken something out of today. Um, Yeah, see you later.